Okay, guys. So this gentleman bought this vehicle from a uh, face on off of Facebook Marketplace, and he drove it home. And here's the deal: you got to check this out. Okay, so as you can see here, they put some sort of stop leak inside the radiator itself, and um, it did way too much of a stop leak, and it clogged it up. And hopefully, it's not like a blown head gasket or something, and they weren't just trying to cover it up to sell the vehicle. So that's what we're here to investigate and find out. This is why stop leak should be banned. It's just a terrible idea. Here's the deal: look what it turns into. So how it works, guys, is it. When it goes through the system, wherever it's leaking out of, is as soon as it hits that air, um, it's supposed to solidify and turn into some sort of putty or just some sort of stoppage for no fluid to get uh, past that point. So uh, too much of it or not used properly, um, I mean, or even just fucking used period will cause this. All right, fingers crossed, guys, that it's only a cooling situation and the radiator and the cooling components can be replaced and that it didn't make its way through the cylinder head and damage the engine uh, that away. So we're about to find out. Well, law be a monkey's uncle. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, we are a little bit overfilled with uh, oil. We got about a half quart to a quart too much, but here's the deal. It is not combined with coolant. That is straight up engine oil and it's very easy to tell. So there is hope for this vehicle yet. Yeah. I am a bit curious to see how much it traveled through the radiator um, before it turned into this putty crap. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to pop this radiator hose off and we're going to take a look. All right, so thankfully it didn't actually make it make its way through. So they must have just let it rest inside the radiator hoping it would uh, stop that leak and then as soon as they tried it i bet all right thankfully for us the uh, petcock's just right here so uh, i'm a bit curious to see what's going to come out of this sucker take a little tube here all right so it should slide on like butter now let's go ahead and get our sample yeah We're just gonna let this fill up. All right, we got four ounces. I think that's okay. All right, so here we got our sample. Oh, I got some on my lip. Fuck. Boy, this stuff smells weird. Okay guys, great news for us. This is a, a, two, a 2007 Toyota Camry. And he was thinking that the motor was blown and this and that and the other. Okay guys, lucky for us, uh, the motor is okay. He had just bought that vehicle off of Facebook Marketplace and he was worried that they sold him a lemon um, right off the flip. Someone just tried to use some stop leak to clear up a leak on the radiator, I'm assuming. Um, it did have some crap, cracked components on it, so on the radiator itself, so I can see why they would try to use some stop leak. But nonetheless, he just needs to flush out all that old crap, uh, replace the radiator, replace the water pump, um, just you know, just to be rather safe than sorry. And uh, this is a 2007 Toyota Camry, so stay tuned for part two on that. I'm going to go ahead and notify the customer and see where he wants to take it from there. I'm sure he wants me to fix it. He just freaking got the thing, so let's get it.